Tita Fa'alangi of Ki Vava'o Gutenvale, Miss Apraxis Tonga. And she'll be sharing on the topic of tourism. Ko Miss Apraxis Tonga, e tene fai ai vahe vahe whekau aki ma kawe inga, taki ma mata mo e falau e veva. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Apraxis Tonga. I'm just trying to find the tune of it. <laughs> puke puke afufula. Kole ke hufanga hetala fakatapu me mua kata ke ulea ihe eku kavenga ko pat Tolo aki o e takimamata mo ene fakato longa a e tau fanga tau fa tunga motua. Sustaining our language, people, and culture. This proverb stands as a pivotal theme intertwined with my chosen subject of tourism. It is important that we sustain our culture through tourism in the ever-changing world where diversity is encouraged. A key element arising from our tourism vision is the dedication to preserve and enhance our unique culture and heritage. At the recent FestPAC event, local Tongan weaver Sione Mailaseni emphasized the challenge of passing down traditional weaving knowledge from elders to the younger generation due to their pursuit of better work opportunities and education abroad. This unfortunate scenario serves as a poignant example. If our elders have no one to impart their cultural wisdom to, we run the risk of losing the ability to create our own culture, arts, and crafts. These art artistic traditions are fundamental to our tourism endeavors as they define what makes Tongan culture distinctive. The youth in Tonga embody the nation's future and in its, in its economic growth through tourism industry. Introducing engaging programs or pop-up workshops for skills seemingly lost amongst Tongan youth, such as lalanga, katoanga, tatongi tongi, and fangfangu playing, is crucial to help our young people nurture a profound respect and understanding of our Tongan heritage. Presently, we are actively enhancing the youth's appreciation of our culture heritage through a range of events such as the Heilala Festival, Taununga competitions, Fa'umau, and other interactive programs. These activities play a pivotal role in fostering a deeper understanding of our cultural roots among the younger generation, imparting fundamental knowledge about tourism. Engaging in these events affords the youth a global platform to showcase their culture. As the Tongan contingency did at the 2020 Dubai World Expo in Abu Dhabi, 
Additionally, as siblings, we leverage the platform to promote Tonga culture on a global scale while simultaneously enriching our understanding of our heritage and homeland. Upholding our language, people, and culture through the Puke Puke Afufula concept involves each person contributing to the tourism sector. As Tongans, it is our responsibility to come together and work harmoniously to safeguard our Tongan way of life. Although the beaches here in Tonga, Fiji, and Samoa are equally stunning as Her Majesty Queen Salotes Maimoa, Siweli, or Pasifika, what sets us apart from our sister islands is our people, you. The remaining monarchy, we are the last remaining monarchy in the entire ocean Pacific. It is our action that defined the experience and ambience for our visitors, making us unique impressions, making unique impressions therefore nurturing a sense of pride in our kingdom and fostering a love for our culture, heritage among young people are key goals that require joint promotion of efforts. So brothers and sisters, we hold the cultural knowledge of today and it is our responsibility to pass it to the next generation, guiding them on how to unlock the opportunities before us. Pukepuke Afufula. As I conclude my speech, may the words I have shared inspire you to envision a new perspective on our future. Let's always remember the dedication of our ancestors in creating the opportunities for us to live comfortably today. Together, let's strive to sustain our language, people, and culture for a prosperous Tonga that will thrive indefinitely. Mr. Praxis Tonga, your contestant number 12. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 12, Mr. Praxis Tonga, on the topic of tourism. We'll give it over now to our judges for their questions. Mr. Praxis Tonga, I believe tourism uh, helps in the economic growth of our country. Can you explain these things that uh, in the tourism sector that helps uh, in the economic growth? Definitely. So tourism plays a huge part in economic growth. It allows for job opportunities. It brings over, when we have tourists that come over to New Zealand, not only tourists from different, from foreign countries, but people of our own living in the diaspora. They come and they buy our koloa here in Tonga. Through that, we are able to portray our arts and crafts and allow, it's, it's what sets us apart and so through tourism, tourism is a, plays a big part in our economic growth here in, in Tonga. S th yes, through our uniqueness in our culture and just expressing that through our arts and crafts. And Koyape Malo. Malo, are there any further questions from our judges? If not, ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together for contestant number 12. Akosita Faalangi Ofaki Vavau Gutenberg, Miss Apraxis Tonga, sharing this afternoon on the topic of tourism.